You know, as a father, I've always been very interested in children's nursery stories. You know, things like Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood, Little Miss Muffet, Lolita. But I, I think my favorite of them all is Cinderella. At least it wasn't until I read Lolita. But Cinderella is the classic pantomime, too, you know, and it's strange to think how every authentic detail of the story has been preserved by the pantomime down through the centuries. Now, you just imagine, all those hundreds of years ago, the story started just as it does tonight in the kitchen of the Baron Stony Brook's castle. Now, as you know, the Baron had one beautiful daughter, who was called Cinderella, and two ugly stepdaughters who were no. No, 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 I'm sorry, old chap, you've got it all wrong. I have? Well, I mean, uh, I, I know this story backwards. Yes, and uh, that is the way you're telling it. You see... Just a minute, just a minute. How do you know so much about it? Well, I'm Baron Stony Brook. But aren't you Captain Pocket? Oh, usually, yes, but not tonight. Tonight I'm out of pocket, I'm Stony Brook. <laughs> then this part really suits you. Oh, yes, this part really suits me. A robber baron of the Middle Ages, riding into the fray with my trusty sword and my great battle axe. Hello, my dear. I'm just talking about you. <laughs> yes, now, let me see. I've got to get this straight. Uh, you're, you're the one with the two ugly daughters, aren't you? How dare you? Certainly not. I have only one daughter, and she is the beautiful one. You wait to see for yourself. She's just coming. Bootsarella. Bootsarella. Ah! <laughs> gentleman wants to say hello. Yeah, we're going then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beautiful one? You'll get good hiding in a minute. <laughs> of course I'm beautiful. And I can prove it and all. In mirror, mirror, up the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Mirror, mirror, do my bidding, and I'm the fairest. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, you're going to punch up your reflection, you will. Oh, that's charming. It's very clever, a talking mirror. Well, let's, uh, the mirror's not really clever. We have a clock here that's a ventriloquist. I can get you one if you like. Oh, you must be buttons. Yeah, that's Is that right? right? Well, it's nice to know there's someone normal around here. Oh, he's not the only one. Now, why don't you wait to meet my two daughters? Well, no, I think that now I've met the beauty of the family, I'll, I just won't push my luck any further. I'll just leave you to get on with what's left of the plot. Canadian... Here, where's them two ugly sisters? I want my breakfast. Well, get it yourself. Oh, yeah, that's it. You'd like to see me slaving in the kitchen, wouldn't you? Hey, getting my hands all crinkled up the sink. Well, I'm not having it. Where's them two sisters? Neferina. Here, where's me tea? Here you are, sister dear. Well, here, don't you stir it, will you, now? Where's me breakfast, eh? Where's me hard boiled egg and me jelly babies? Marionetta. Oh, about time and all. Oh, look at you. Don't you crack it for me. Oh, no. No. Don't you crack it. Might hurt your hands. And if that's a soft one, you'll get hard one, you will. Look at the two of you standing there. All crude and all lumpy and all effeminate. Not like me. I'm all ladylike and lovely. And <laughs> got a lovely little black pimple and all. <laughs> that's why you hate me. Here, I'll, I'll crack it for no, you. No, don't bother. I've got the ump now. Probably bad anyway. I'm sure it's not. No? Well, what's that lion holding his nose oh, for then? No. <laughs> My sweet little innocent girlie. Yeah. It's disgraceful the way they all put on you. And you are at it all the morning hunting. With all sis. <laughs> well, I think I'll go up and do me face. Uh. I think I'll do you on the no. I'll make myself all lovely and then have a good cry. Ah, uh, mother will come with you, love. Yeah, let's go out and slip into something loose, eh? Hey? Try the lift shaft. I heard <laughs> To think, just because she's the eldest, we've got to wait to get married. Ah, uh, well, that's life. And what about me? If the Baron could only give me my back wages, Naparina and I could run away and we could start that skyport I was telling you about. We'd make a fortune. Oh, Buttons, why don't you give up that idea? I mean, it's so impractical. After all, the aeroplane hasn't been invented yet. See what I mean? Excuses, always excuses. Besides, my wife keeps all the money for Bootsarella's dowry. However, now at last, I think we may have a chance. Father, what? 
Well, I've just heard that a young prince has moved into that empty palace next door. Now, if he sees Bootsarella and takes a fancy to her... And you call that a chance? Well, it's the only one we've got. We'll just have to hope that the prince is romantically minded. And very short-sighted. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Hut 29, uh, sorry, uh, back at the Royal Palace, Prince Charming is just settling in. And all I can say is I hope they've got somebody proper to play Prince Charming. <laughs> well, me. No, I'm sure you're not the one I want. Oh, sorry. When I heard my name mentioned, you see, I'm Prince Charming. <laughs> I'm little Miss Muffet. Will you pardon me if I go find a spider? Spider? <laughs> Must be animal lover. Hey, Dandini! Dandini! Yes, Your Highness. Here, Dan. Hmm. Where's my ceremonial crown? Ah, but Your Highness forgets we had a hockey ceremonial crown so that we could get this place. Oh, eh? Hey. Yes. Well, why do we do that? Oh, we're perfectly happy and cocky more. Ah, but Your Highness. You see, you must marry a rich local heiress. And this place is full of rich city dignitaries. Aldermen, councillors, burghers. Here, I don't want to marry no rich old burger. <laughs> All right, then, who do you want to marry? A girl. Naturally. Did you ever hear of anybody marrying a man? Yeah, my sister. <laughs> Never mind your sister. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get all the local heiresses together and we'll give them a ball. A ball? Yeah. That's it, like this beat the clock thing. No, no, no. Give them a ball and the one that can bounce it the no, highest. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> we'll give them a dance, you see. Then we'll play the middle of a well known pantomime. And if they can identify it, they'll press the buzzer and win the jackpot. Yeah. yeah. Dan, that's yeah. it. Yeah. There's one thing. Hmm. The only time I ever took a girl to a dance, she never turned up. Oh. Can't think why. Here, I'll tell you what. what. You issue the invitations and tell them you're the prince. Ah, but when they get here, they'll realize that you're the prince. Yeah, won't they have a nice shock? <laughs> What's nice. this? Mary, Mary, on the wall, am I the answerist of them all? You're definitely joking, ain't you? Here, watch it. <laughs> One week later, the night of the ball. I can hardly believe it. We're actually going to the ball without Bootsarella. Shh, the Baroness might hear you. Here she comes. Oh, terrible news. Dolly Bootsy can't go to the ball. She's got a nasty head. <laughs> she certainly has. I've seen it. Oh, the unselfish darling. She wants us all to go without her. I suppose we'd better, but it won't be the same. <laughs> <laughs> won't, will it? I mean, no, it won't, will it? Well, we'll be off then. Come along, children. Bye. Bye, my, my dear. Oh, what a life. Everybody going to the ball to have a wonderful time. I've got to stay here and look after the bride of Frankenstein. Good <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm listless. <laughs> have they all gone? Yeah, they've all gone. Yeah, some people go anywhere for a foxtrot and a cold sausage on a stick. <laughs> Not like me. I'm above all that glamour and trash. I'm more like jelly deals and pie and mash. <laughs> mirror, mirror, up the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Freddie Mills. <laughs> Look, why don't you give up? That's about the 6,749th name the mirror's mentioned. It hasn't come to yours yet. Oh, you rotten fiend. You only don't say I'm beautiful because I'm all lovely. <laughs> lovely? With that face? Yeah. You've got a face like an unaddressed envelope. Look, if you're so beautiful, why don't you go to the ball and get the prince to propose to you? <laughs> yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like to see me throw my body away on some tuppy empty prince. <laughs> no, don't kid yourself. You'll never get married. Your trouble is you've got it too easy around here, you know. Easy? Yes. You don't think of all the mental worry I've got? What with this, that and the other? Especially the upper. <laughs> Here, buttons. Turn that page over. You'll turn the page over yourself. Ooh, you, you, you don't think of me, do you? Those other two can go lolloping off to the trolloping ball. Fair lady, fair lady. Eh? Fair lady, fair lady. Fair lady sounds like a bus conductor. <laughs> Sweet maiden, you have a kind heart. Would you give me a few sticks for an old lady's home? I'd like to see the old lady's home first. Might not be worth a few sticks. No, oh, I'll give her a few sticks. Here, here. There's some sticks, you old lady. Here. What are you doing a thrown wood away like that? It don't grow on trees, you know. 
trim six. All right, I'll pay you for it later. Good news. Sweet maiden, for your kind heart... How leave, oh? For your kind heart, a secret I will now impart. Nay, stay where you are, do not budge, and meet your fairy godfather called Snudge. <laughs> well, well, may you quake and murmur, ooh <laughs> Fairies now are getting fewer. <laughs> They've been sent here by Queen Titana. I don't half feel a proper nana. <laughs> All right, now let's get on. Sweet maiden, your heart's desire you now can win. So tell me your secret wish and get fell in. Wouldst wish for magic beauty? Wouldst wish for magic beauty since thou lack it? It's like a magic punt right up the bracket. <laughs> I've got an idea. Now, let's not waste time. Get on with the wish and cut out the rhyme. That's right. You're smart. <laughs> All right, then. Now, read this complaint of yours that said beauteous maiden is incarcerated home here while his sisters go tripping off. It has been decreed that you two shall go to the ball. What, with my feet? No fair. I'm excused not being about dancing. Look, in 400 years of fairy godfathering, I've never, not, never, ever, never, not met, not no one, not quite like you, not know how, nowhere, no. It's been decreed you shall go to the ball and shall you will. No, I won't, you will. No, I won't. I will, all right. <laughs> all right, then, I'll send you there. Now, first things first, in a coach and pair, you shall sit, you living, breathing, talking, steaming knit. <laughs> Mark what I say, get me a pumpkin. Where would you like it? <laughs> well, we're not going to get a pumpkin. <laughs> I know where I can get a pumpkin. It just so happens I know where this one. I was going to hang on to it, but you can have it. Anything to get rid of her. I quite agree, you're right. Put it on the table. Now that. Magic baton in the right hand, left hand. Gun tights, steady. Now then, making magic spells in your own time. Begin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, as I approach, turn into a coach. All right, all right, you guys. Now, hear this. I want you to go out in that field and win this game today for the sake of our old school. Now, I know you can do it. Yeah, not that kind of coach. A coach coach. Pumpkin, pumpkin, have some sense. I mean, a mode of conveyance. <laughs> well, there we are. It's the best we can do. I'm afraid this is a bit rusty. I didn't have time to use my magic pull-through this morning. Oh, Ooh, and it could I. What would you do with that fairy path? Uh, what? How can I ride that in a ball dress? Oh, by this maiden's speech, it doth appear that we have got a right one here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, rags and tatters disappear all. Give her a dress for having a ball. You're done. I look like Elsie from Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you look like. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Yeah. All right, then, now listen. If by 2359 you're not back, all your bobbles will disappear. What? Yeah, well, these things, you know what I mean. <laughs> um. <laughs> Put it this way. If by oh one you're still at large, I'll have you on a fairy charge. Oh. Well, come on, then. And if some rotten man wants to be my suitor, all he got for me is one up the oot. Up on the back, we'll have some fun. We'll have a bash up the old M1. Go on, right, then. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Before me now, I cannot lie. Stands a dirty big monster with a beady eye. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the ball. Oh, Father, I haven't seen the prince yet, and he promised to look for me. But there's been the most horrible man trailing me about all... Oh, do? I'm charming. Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> no, you, uh, you can call me prince. Why, are you an old sheepdog? You're the prince. No, I'm an old sheepdog. Ah, prince. 
Would you like, would you like to uh, join your guests? Yeah, sure. Where's the sticky stuff? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. And before you say anything, yeah, dear. let me explain <gasps> why we're done. Of course. Yeah. Excuse me, what? I want to dance. Uh, I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, don't ask me. But I'll dance, my dear, with you. My heart won't let my feet do things they should do. You know what? What? You're lovely. You know what? Uh -huh. So lovely. I know what you do to me. I'm like an ocean wave that bumped on the shore. I feel so absolutely slumped on the floor. When you dance, you're charming and you're gentle Especially when you do the continental But this feeling isn't purely mental For heaven blessed us, I'm not asbestos And that's why we will dance, yeah We will dance, yeah I will dance my dear with you I know that music leads the way to so when I hold you in my arms, I won't dance. At last, at last, at last, I've got a girl who loves me for what I am. Well, tell me, who is she? I don't know, but if she were passing me on a tricycle, she threw me a little token of love. A rose from her hair? No, a flame throw from her foot. <laughs> And she said to me, I'd got to wait. She's a girl of my own art. She said that? Well, more or less. As she got past, she shouted, You wait, I'll do for you. <laughs> oh, love at first sight. But you don't even know her name. No, but I soon will. Dandini yes. put out a proclamation that my highness will take the hand of the foot that fits this, uh, this, uh, well, that. <laughs> The next day, back in the kitchen of Baron Stonybrook's castle. Well then, who would be the first to try this flipper? Someone with a foot shaped like a kipper. <laughs> I'll try, Tom. Well, if this should fit, we shall not tarry. Straight to the church, we'll go on marry. Go <laughs> Only I could those words unsay. I'll bet you do. Still never mind that. 